Now, ever wondered what a capital stack is? Well, let's dive into it. Picture a capital stack as the financial backbone of a company or a real estate investment. It's made up of different types of capital that are invested. Starting from the bottom, we have senior debt, followed by mezzanine debt, then preferred equity, and finally, equity at the top. Each layer has its own risk and reward profile. In essence, a capital stack is a pecking order of who gets paid when. Now, what about pre-disbursement charges? What role do they play in a capital stack? Pre-disbursement charges are those costs that a company or investor incurs before the capital is fully dispersed. They're a bit like the opening act to the main event, setting the stage for what's to come. These expenses could include fees for legal services, underwriting, and loan origination. Just as you wouldn't overlook the importance of a concert's opening act, you shouldn't underestimate pre-disbursement charges. They are an integral part of the capital stack. They affect the overall cost of a project and therefore the return on investment. So think of them as the initial investment in your venture's journey to success. Pre-disbursement charges are like the entrance fee to the game of capital stack. To sum it all up, the capital stack is the layered arrangement of financial resources that make up an investment. It details who gets paid, when and in what order, should any financial disruptions occur. Now, pre-disbursement charges are those pesky expenses that crop up before the capital is fully dispersed. These charges might include origination fees, legal fees, or due diligence costs, and they certainly can influence the overall cost of the project. So whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, these two concepts are pivotal. They highlight the importance of understanding the financial DNA of your investments. A clear understanding of the capital stack and pre-disbursement charges can help make more informed investment decisions.